what is up guys how is everybody doing welcome back to my channel today i wanted to give you all an update on my turtle and i wanted to share a filter update with you guys i've been looking for some ways to update the current filter that i have because i noticed the old system that i was using was not keeping the tank as clean as i would like it to be so I just wanted to share my new updated filtration system with you guys, give you an update on Speedy, and answer some of you guys' questions. So if you're interested in this type of content, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if there's any other videos you'd like me to do in regards to Speedy. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so these are three new things that I purchased to go inside of his filter. I purchased Biofoam here to collect, to help filtrate out the bacteria, things of that sort in the water. I did purchase some carbon as well, and I purchased some Biomax here to go inside his filter to help filtrate um, the good and bad bacteria. I did do some research and I found that these things are good to go inside your filter to help filter the water for your turtle. This is what I used to use for my filter and I just feel like it wasn't keeping the water as clean as I would like it to. It has carbon on the inside and like this cloth fiber to collect tiny particles inside of the water, but I just felt like it was not keeping the tank as clean as I would like it to. If you have a turtle, you know that turtles can be very expensive when it comes to buying things that they need for their tank. So if you're thinking about purchasing a turtle, this is something that you could keep in mind. I wanted to save some money, so I went and purchased this Biofoam instead. And instead of you having to go and buy new biofoam, the only thing you do is just wash it off with tank water, with the tank water when it's time to do a water cleaning. So you just rinse it off and put it back in the filter. And I feel that it's going to save me a lot of money in the long run because these things can get pretty expensive unless you can unless you can catch them on sale. The carbon you replace every four weeks. The biofoam, it says to replace every six months. And the Biomax, the media, says to replace every six months. So I just wanted to let you all know that as well. With these, I was having to change them every two to three weeks. So it got pretty expensive compared to happen to change it every six months. That's a huge difference to me. Okay, so, <clears throat> so here is the filter here. I put on some gloves. So, so that I'm not touching it with my hands. I just wanted to show you guys. So this is the media here. I do like to put it down in here. So when the water is flowing from this part it can bypass the media and help clean it um this is the carbon here that i put on the inside i put that at the very top i'll let you all see the inside here this right here is the filter and this here is the biofoam so as you can see it has filtered out some of the debris inside the tank now when you get the biofoam it's going to come big let me show you guys it's going to be big it's going to be wide and i was trying to find, find a picture for you guys to show you but it's going to be big it's going to look like this picture down here but it's much bigger in person so what I did was, I can show you the size. What I did was I cut it in half. So I cut it in half so it'll be thinner and easier to filtrate the debris that is, that is in the water. Because the first time I used the biofoam, I did not cut it. I just put it in the tank, but I noticed that it wasn't filtering correctly. So I cut it in half to, get, to make it easier for it to filter. 
and then with this all you have to do is clean it out in some tank water and then place it back into the slot in your filter so as you can see i cut these into four so it comes with two in the box it comes with two in the box so i cut both of them in half which will give you four pieces of foam and i did place all four pieces of foam inside the tank i'm sorry inside the filter so here you can see it was able able to catch some stuff as well and you just clean those off so deep inside here i don't know if you can see it but right over here is where I place media on both sides. Take this one out. I place media on both sides. So I place some media here. I place some here. I even place some under the filter here that you can see at the bottom. And I place some carbon here. I put two bags of carbon in here. So one is placed right behind the filter and then topped off with some bio media. And then I will place the foam on the sides here, like that. Like so. And then I would place the carbon on top here. And that's how I would do it. Now, all of this stuff that's in here, this bio media and everything, I do rinse it off in the tank water and I was able to reuse it. So I do feel like it was, it's keeping my tank cleaner. So I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you're looking for um, a good way to filtrate out your tank or if you have this decor filter and you feel like it's not filtering the tank as you thought it, as you, thought it would and so I've had to update the filtration system but yeah that is that this is Speedy's tank here as you can see he's right here swimming around he's looking at me but this is the tank of course this basking area falling down because he will knock it down sometimes and I will have to put it back up there but it's been working pretty good for me as you can see you probably can see a little fog here on the tank and that's because I deal with hard water so when dealing with hard water that is something that you're going to experience in your tank if you have hard water I haven't found a solution for that so if you guys have a solution for the hard water, um, including hard water deposits on your turtle shell, comment down below, let me know. Help me out a little bit here. I'm still new to this, but it is absolutely time to change his time to clean his tank. As you can see, some algae has built up on his basking area. It looks like good algae though, but he is a healthy turtle. I'm gonna take him out and let you all see him. I just wanted to show you all the tank. I wish I had a before a before video where I was using the old the old filtration system and how dirty his tank would get in a short amount of time. But I'm gonna take him out and let you all see him. Okay, guys. So this is Speedy. Um. He is not too happy about me taking him out of his tank but uh, Emily did say that he does have a bit of pyramiding here um I did notice that I just thought maybe it was because he was getting bigger but she said that I'm probably feeding him a little bit too much so I did get him on a feeding schedule well, he was on a feeding schedule before, but I changed his feeding schedule so that he is not overweight. 
um, he's getting a little bit more comfortable now. He's like, oh, I'm out of little aquarium. Say hey, Speedy. But yeah, he's gotten a lot bigger. He's very active. He's a very active turtle. This is his shell here. That's his shell. Sometimes he likes for me to rub in between his scoots here while he's in the basking area. He'll let me rub in between his scoots. I guess maybe it feels good. I don't really know. But yeah, this is Speedy, guys. He is getting much bigger. I'm trying to do everything I can to make him a healthy and happy turtle. I had a few people comment and let me know that they were getting a new turtle for Christmas or they were thinking about getting a new turtle and they wanted to know what is some things that they can do to make sure they're ready when they get ready to purchase their turtle. Um, someone specifically that I wanted to shout out, her name is Winnie. I have her written down here. Um, she is interested in getting a turtle and she just wanted to know what did I do in regards to research and how did I decide on my turtle. So when I was looking for turtles, I wrote down things that I was looking for in a turtle. I wanted to keep in mind the maintenance that I could keep up on the turtle, how big it was going to get, and basically what could I afford. So when you purchase a bigger turtle, you need to make sure you have the funds to take care of a turtle that size because for instance, a red ear slider, they get pretty big. And so it's gonna be a lot of maintenance. It's gonna be a lot of money spent trying to accommodate his size, his or her size. So when I was doing research, I researched the size of different species of turtles. And so some that were suggested were painted turtles. Um, there was the Eastern painted turtle, the Western painted turtle, southern painted turtle and it was some other turtles that was mentioned that don't really get that big and I knew what I could afford in regards to the tank size because the bigger tank you need the more expensive it's going to be so I wanted to get a turtle that would not get that big and that I could accommodate and take care of properly in regards to spending the money needed to get the things he need, to get the size tank he need, things of that sort. When you have a bigger turtle, it gets a lot more messier. There's a lot of things that you need to do, which is why you see a lot of people that have larger turtles, they have ponds because it's bigger. It's more of a natural habitat for them. That's what they live in, lakes, ponds, things of that sort. But I'm, I wanted something smaller so that I can you know take care of it and manage it better so when you're doing your research just do some research on the size of the turtle see how big they get and see if that's something that you're interested in um taking care of is that something that you can take care of is that something you can manage financially um with getting a new turtle I also chose the painted turtle because the after doing a lot of research, they seemed very active and they seemed like a popular turtle to get at the time because they're so active and they love interacting with you outside of their tank. They're just so playful and active and I did want a active turtle. Not saying that other species of turtles are not active, but the eastern painted turtle just caught my eye but like i said at the time i couldn't afford the eastern painted turtle so i got a southern painted turtle another subscriber that i want to give a shout out to is emily she contact contacted me and let me know that she enjoyed my video however she felt that um i may have been feeding speedy a little bit too much that she could see a little pyramiding on his shell i am new to this so i'm a new turtle parent but emily i wouldn't want to give you a shout out and say thank you 
for helping me and letting me know some things I could do. I have been feeding him the red leaf lettuce and he enjoys it. At first, he wasn't too fond of it, but I did do what you told me to do in regards to just putting it in his tank, changing it out every so often. And I did see gradually that he would eat off of it throughout the day. I do have a video on that telling you how I change my turtle's tank. I have another video that will show you things that you need to know before getting a turtle. So if you're thinking about getting a turtle, make sure you watch that video because it might be some things that you're not going to expect when you first get your turtle. But yeah, everything in this video I will list down below. I hope this video was very informative for you guys. I did want to give a shout out to all of my subscribers and I want to say thank you so much for supporting me on my YouTube journey. And I will talk to you guys later. That is the end of this video. I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Peace.